Ugh, Avery, how does it feel to be totally wrong about all the structure decks ever since you started talking about how bad they were? How does it feel to be so stupid? Ugh. Actually, I've been right pretty much almost every single time. Yeah. That's one of the comments I had today on which Yu-Gi-Oh! simulator is the best simulator because people realizing that Master Boo Boo Stain is a pile of dog water. Let's dive on into this unexpected video that I was going to make, but it needs to be made. Do not buy the Fire King structure deck. Question mark? With an asterisk? I'm hard? How high does my voice go? Hello? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most Avery LR32 here and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain of that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1200 ladder. We're currently sitting at 1291 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen, only nine more people away before we bust on in to 1300 subscribers. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we got to talk about the Fire King structure. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So this was actually inspired by a troll comment. Of course, I blocked the person and removed their comment because obviously they're trolling. They don't keep up with our videos, right? But one of the comments I saw was on my which Yu-Gi-Oh simulator is the best simulator video that has like over 2,000 views at this point because people realize that Master Duel, aka Master Boo Boo Stain, aka all the other Master shit, you know, whatever comments I say in my videos. People are realizing that the simulator is dog water. They want to play a real one. And this dude commented on it was like, how dumb do you feel that you've been wrong about every single structure deck since like you've started your do not buy series? And I'm just like, I've been right every single time. The Crystal Beast structure deck, I don't remember covering on the channel. I think it began with the Dark World one. But the Crystal Beast one, outside of like a D-Shifter reprint, and I think maybe an Imperm reprint, I could be wrong. I think it had Ash. Um, that structure deck was okay. The Crystal Beast stuff was kind of like, whatever. The Dark World one, I said, do not buy. And it was garbage. Um, and the reason why I say that is because, yes, the Dark World stuff, I would say, is decent now. And it's much better, especially with the release of Ken and Den. But at the time when we got the Dark World structure deck, it was garbage because of the fact that we were in a tier zero tier element format. So you shouldn't be buying the structure deck. And at that, at this point right now, I think the structure deck's even cheaper than it was upon release. So like, yeah, it's a no brainer to buy it. Like the deck is much better now, especially with Ken and Den in Age of Overlord. I said, don't buy the Trap Trick structure deck. It wasn't that good on release. It was good for like a format and a half. I don't even think it's that good anymore. Like you could still play it, but I don't know if you're gonna see as much success with, much success with it as you did upon release. And I said, don't buy the Jack Atlas structure deck because there was nothing in it. And guess what we got in the Jack Atlas structure deck? We got a Witch of the Black Forest reprint in 2023. <laughs> Yay, because that's what we all wanted, Sugar Boo Bear. No, we didn't want that trash. But you know what? People are going to be salty. People are going to, you know, feel like their anus is very tight. They don't know how to relax it. They got to feel like that their purchase is justified. And it, it's, it's just not. Now, with the Jack Atlas, the master of faster, let's kick this duel into overdrive. I had to bust that out because someone told me that my impression was very good. So thank you for that. So feel free to clip that if you want, Pim. <laughs> but the difference with the Crimson King Jack Atlas structure deck thing is that it's good for like OTS championships and locals and stuff. But if you take it to like a regional YCS, your butthole is going to get stomped and you're going to get ass blasted out of the venue. Like it's garbage. You walk right into a Nibiru brick wall and you lose. Like that's just how it is, Pimp. And on top of that, too, the reprints are garbage. Like, all of the structure decks I talked about, the reprints are just dog water. Um, with the Fire King structure deck, and this is why I'm putting an exclamation point and a question mark in the title. Because the Fire King structure deck, at least from what I've seen, is it bad? Is it good? The reprints that I've seen are okay. I think we're getting imperm, but, like... Outside of that, I don't really think that there's anything else that's that good in the set. But regardless, the new support for the Fire King structure deck is actually kind of solid. Like, it's actually kind of impressive at, like, how good they made the Fire King support. And, like, I'm trying to look up, like, what's in here. Like, of course, I can't find it whenever I'm trying to record, but I can talk and type at the same time because your boy's finessing like that. <laughs> But from what I've seen with, like, people playing the Fire King structure deck stuff, um, 
it's actually like not that terrible, which is actually really surprising. But the fact that like we're also getting bonfire, we're getting like all of this different fire sub attribute support, I think it actually gives fire kings a chance to do well when we do get the structure deck, especially once we get bonfire out of a maze of millennium. And like that's actually really impressive that fire kings of all things is going to like possibly do well let me see if i can find it here fire king structure deck. okay of course i finally find it right when i have to do a jump cut so like the reprints that we're getting here is like solemn judgment uh, torrential tribute is no that's garbage imperm is cool we're getting coach king giant trainer uh Hida, the link monster thing we're getting blaster we're getting the new link monster we're getting diamond dire wolf we're getting wolf bark we're getting some of like the reprint stuff um like some of like like uh what do you call it dogron we're getting some of the old fire support which is cool royal firestorm guards is a good reprint um we're also getting alpha the master beast and joel and lot bird along with dark hole which is kind of like whatever we're getting herald of the abyss which is pretty good trade-in is always a nice reprint to have but Outside of like, I would say Alpha, Droll, Solomon, Imperm, and maybe Doggeron, and possibly Giant Trainer. There's not really anything else in here. But again, though, the structure deck is like actually kind of good from what I've been seeing. Now, for all I know, by the time that we get the structure deck in the TCG, it may just be flat out garbage. But with having really solid reprints like Alpha the Master Beast, especially for like rank 8 access decks that or just want to go second, put out big monsters, and then also play a Horus engine. That's a very good cheap alternative to have. Droll is always a great reprint. Imperm and Solemn are always great reprints. I can't really fault Konami for this structure deck. Like, it's actually looking pretty solid. And you know what? I'll give credit where credit's due. And I've already called myself out before with being wrong about stuff. I came out a little bit after the Trap Trick Structure Deck came out and said I was wrong about the Trap Trick Structure Deck. It actually proved to be pretty damn good. Maybe we'll see this with the Fire King Structure Deck. Or maybe I'm going to say, you know, this is going to be pretty good. People go out and buy it. And then it turns out to be a giant turd that someone like Robbie Cole crapped out on the floor. <laughs> All jokes aside, I'm just busting his balls. Pimp. But I mean... I want to see it do well. And I think people get that really wrong in like some of these do not buy videos. They make it sound like, oh, Avery, like you're saying not to buy this product. You don't even like Yu-Gi-Oh! Like you're just a clickbait or blah, 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 blah. And then of course I have the trolls that say, how dumb do you feel? Or they're like, oh, well, he's saying not to buy it. And really that means to buy it because it's about having fun. If you're just about having fun, you're going to buy anything anyway. Like this video doesn't apply to you. I'm talking about competitive players. Like I'm talking about players who really want to know, hey, should I invest in this set? Is this going to be a chicken nuggie that I'm going to gobble up like a homemade stew in like Minecraft? And like if you're a casual player, you're going to buy whatever you want anyway. Like you don't give a shit about these type of videos. Like why are you even watching? Like real talk. Because at the end of the day, if you think the box art looks cool, you're going to buy it. Like that's just the fact that it is. You're not going to regionals you're not going to ycs's this is for like the packs the jesse cottons the avriel r32s in the communities who want to get better at the game who want to constantly be on the forefront of innovation and knowing if a set is booty booty butt cheeks or if it's actually kind of good and you know what i'm gonna say tentatively this stuff is pretty decent and you know what i'll give it to konami I'm glad to see a structure deck be good. Like, this is one of those structure decks, unlike the Dark World structure deck, they came out at a terrible fucking time, where tier element was tier zero. If you weren't playing tier, you were doing it wrong, or you had to play sprite with, like, 15 hand traps. If you were playing Dark World, you were going to get your butthole stomped in. Everybody got pissed. Avery, uh, you're a troll. You're saying not to buy this. Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, when you look at the format, why are you going to play Dark World? When I said in that video, people are going to be looking around the room and be laughing at you. I didn't say that video but it's the point i'm saying now people are gonna be laughing at you when you go to activate drag down to the grave and the tier element player shows you their hand and you're like well i don't know what to hit now because you've got nothing but good cards like that's how it was whereas with the fire king stuff you're getting a pretty competent deck out of the box you're getting wolf bark you're getting doggeron you're getting the fire king high avatar garunix which like nukes the fucking board you're getting the new xyz monster garunix which is insane i might add plus like salamander got new support they're at full power. Maybe we'll see some interactions with them. Maybe we'll see the horse monsters being played. The possibilities for this structure deck 
are endless. And I'm actually really excited to see what it does. Now, is it going to be the best thing in the world? Probably not. No. But if you want something cheap, this has the potential, the potential, mind you, to be good. Or it may just end up being booty booty butt cheeks because everybody's going to be playing decks with Ken and Den and purely and Unchained and Dark World are going to be the best decks in the room. Hard to say at this point, but I would say set money aside for this because it may end up being really, really good. Also, that Drone Lockbird reprint and that Imperm reprint, yeah, that's making us hard and giving us a chub, Sugar Boo Bear, as the Ultra Ball would say. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.